Good morning, YouTube. How you guys doing this fine day? Hopefully good. Um, I have a lot to tell you guys because I have probably not vlogged in a couple months now. It is July 13th, 2021. Um, I haven't vlogged in like probably since the Ohio trip, which was last last month, beginning of beginning of June, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, this place is kind of a mess. I'm not too worried. I'm going to pick it up today. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. But I have a lot to show you. This is our new couch we got. New to us. Not brand new. Um, and Burr sleeps on it. That's why that's the sectional there. Uh, we got a new TV and TV stand. So this place is now the entertainment area for Burr. Burr I like Burr to be down here with me. Um, she gets bored while I play video games. I completely understand. So, she went on TV down here and all that jazz. Boom. Uh, she would like me to move that chair, get a blanket ladder, and she bought a lamp. So that's gonna go in that corner. We painted all of this gray. Can you believe that? We painted this room gray, finally. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, it was that dark blue color, like really dark, dark blue. We painted it so that's that uh, I do have like I said a lot of picking up too it's honestly not that dirty uh, but I have like 20,000 dog toys across the entire house um, but yeah this is all gray you've you've seen all this obviously but we finally got gray unison everywhere next thing probably carpet down here so that's cool um, what else did I have to show you? I finally got the steel for my entryway. Uh, but I cannot do that alone. So I'm going to probably have to wait for my dad and Burr. Yes, Kitty, I know. I, I got to feed you. Um, I probably have to wait for Burr and my dad to do that. But we do have the steel. I can put the steel up finally. We can put the um, fan up finally. Today, however uh is woodworking so if you don't enjoy my woodworking videos um you can back out if you'd like won't hurt my feelings one bit but uh i'm probably gonna my sister wanted a long time ago and i never got to it i'm gonna get to it today mace don't worry um there's a she wants like a blanket ladder for towels i don't really know how well this is gonna go but we're gonna try it kitty is very not happy all right, um, trying to think of what I need tool-wise. Feed the cat, I'll get out there, we'll get working. Like I said, if woodworking stuff, I mean, I've done like 20,000 blanket ladders. I record them because it's content. And I mean, not that I'm like, you know, it's something to record and edit. I, I haven't had much to record and edit and I like the editing aspect of things. Keeps me motivated to like better myself, so. Um, like I said, if you don't like it, go ahead, back out, won't harm my feelings, but, um, we'll get to that. Alright, so I'm thinking we can use these. I don't want to make it too tall and take up too much room. It's literally just for towels, so I'm going to say that that's either too big or perfect. Let's set it against like a wall or something like that. That's a bit big. I could take probably an inch of that off. All right. So the plan is, just like the blanket ladders, uh, if you haven't seen my blanket ladder videos, I'll explain what I'm doing here. I need a flat surface somewhere. This place is always a mess. Like, I really just don't know how I get it this dirty. But the plan is, you use two of these. You have both your, your sides of your ladder, and then I have Still more scraps, so that's good. One of these bad boys, I believe is inch and a half or inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. What's this say? This is two inch by two inch, so I'm assuming inch and a half by inch and a half. Um, those are your rungs. And these rungs probably don't have to be that long. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, probably 
towels aren't that big. I'm gonna say four or five inches. I'm probably gonna go with five just because it's a better uh, measurement than four. Uh, let's do six. Six inches. Six, six inches seems about right. Maybe seven if I'm feeling generous. Like I said, I don't want this to take up her whole counter though, not that it will, but um, I'll figure out the measurements, tell you what I did afterwards, but we'll get started on this. I might have to do oh, just a little bit of cleaning because it is a freaking mess in here. Oh, also, little sneak peek, not really sneak peek, but this is finally done. Um, so it's gray, it's hard to see because of his light. It's gray in the back, sage green on the sides. Um, and it's, it's not complete. We have one more piece of steel to rip and put down there. But uh, glad that that's finally done. The camper's all secure in there. I have to, I have four by fours that we put in the ground. I have to drill those to the posts so it doesn't fly away. But not that it's gonna fly away anyways. It's got pretty long spikes in it. Um, however, safety purposes, I'm still going to do that. Uh, let's get started. Alright, so this is it. I have, I think, nine inches here. So these are just my cutoffs from my other ones. These are nine inches. These are seven inches. Uh, seven, it looks funky to me. It's gotta be like up here. It looks a little funky to me because it doesn't look proportional, but um, she only wants two rungs. That's how it looks. I don't know. I think once I get it all together, it'll look a little bit better. It just still looks a little funky to me. Also, I didn't think about towels. I'm gonna have to put these like all the way up. That should be all right. Let's just put this together and see what's, if it doesn't work. I have plenty more of these sideboards that I can work with so we'll we'll get her to work don't worry thinking it's gonna be too short though I think I might have to do a little longer uh, that's gonna be too short I'm gonna cut more of these leave these for a different project I guess I always save all save all your cutoffs, people. You don't know what you're gonna use them for. I save all my cutoffs. I'm going to cut these.
All right, that's how she turned out. I just screwed, obviously, the, um, the pocket screws in the back. Um, sits good, looks good. I'm gonna have to sand it a bit more. Obviously, there's some uh, rougher lines, on, or lines, rougher spots on here, obviously, but, um, and then I, I always sand down this a little bit, these corners, that way it sits more proper and doesn't wanna slide out. All in all, uh, looks a little weird. Practicality, good. I don't think it look. it doesn't look weird as in like, I'm just not used to seeing something that wide and that tall because it has to be this wide. The towels are about seven inches. So I, I guessed, I went in and measured one. I literally went in and measured because I was like, ah, it doesn't seem right. They're about seven inches. So I cut those at seven inches, the rungs. And then I cut the, legs at 10 and a half. I had to redo them um, by cut them at 10 and a half because nine just didn't look right. And you like physically, if you put a third rung in here, it'd look better, but the towel is going to drape on the, the towel is going to drape if you do that. So just as a forewarning, but there you go. That's how you make one. I know I didn't do it in depth um, like I usually do, but like I said, you guys are probably sick of watching me do blanket ladders of sorts, but this is a cool little project. I have a lot more woodworking projects I have to do. So stay tuned for those because um, I do enjoy them quite a bit. I have this, um, I need to make another table out of. I have, my grandpa gave me his lathe from Arizona. So I'm gonna work with this thing a little bit. I don't know anything about them. I mean, I, I do know things about them, but um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on like how to properly lathe things down. Luckily I have plenty of these, or I might ask my grandpa if he has some like starter pieces. But I do have a project in my mind that I would uh, like to get to for that. I still have my Cardinal I was working on that uh, it didn't work out properly because uh, I didn't have the right blade on there. Now I should have the right blade on there. So that's good. So plenty of projects. It's hot out here, so usually I do it in the winter when it's cold and then I can bundle up and turn my furnace on where I don't really have. I could put a window shaker in there, I guess, but yeah. So I'm gonna sand this up a little bit more. Um, probably call it a vlog. I'm gonna eat, make some, eh, I was gonna make coffee, but I never drink the whole thing, so I'm not gonna make coffee. Could just make a cup, but it just seems like a waste of time. But um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I know I really genuinely mean that. Um, genuinely mean that because uh, it, it means a lot to me that you guys take the time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate it. Um, I have one more thing I wanted to show you guys before I leave. Yesterday I went to uh, DeWitt, which is a little north of here, for those of you guys that don't know. Um, and this is my great grandpa's three iron. Let's get out in the sun here. And this is like one of the clubs that, when I play golf, I'm terrible. Like, I, I'm not I'm not fantastic by any means, but um, this is one of the clubs that I can always hit. And my, my new set didn't have a three iron. So this one kind of has sentimental value to me. My great grandpa's, I got it re-gripped finally. Um, Nice new grip on there because my other one was dry rotted and everything else. So that was cool. But like I said, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys being here, supporting me, what I do every single day. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace.